So our video for today will be about the Cosmic Armor Superman, who has been arguably considered as the most powerful Superman ever. Final Crisis, Superman Beyond No. 1 was published in 2008. The book opens with a superpowered being blasting a robotic Superman with eye beams. The Asylum says that Superman's cosmic armor is no match for his eternal power. In Metropolis, Clark Kent is at his wife's bedside in hospital. As he remarks that he would do anything to save her life, time stops and he is visited by the monitor Zillovala, who knows that Clark is Superman. She offers him a pact. If Superman helps her, she will save Lois' life. But if he refuses, all of existence will be destroyed. Superman must decide quickly, because the destroyer known as Echo of Midnight has found them. Superman decides to help her, and as they leave, he noticed that Earth without time is in perpetual twilight. A shadow has fallen across creation from outside. In Zillovala's ship, known as the Ultima Thule, Superman meets Overman of Earth-10, Captain Marvel of Earth-5, and Captain Adam of Earth-4. As the ship is attacked, Superman scans for the attackers, but finds himself forced to upgrade to a higher awareness, 4D vision. Thus equipped, he sees the bleed and the arteries between the universes. As they fly, Superman sees Echo of Midnight, a massive entity with death ray eyes. However, it is suffering. It has been attacked by the last of Zillow Vala's recruits, Ultraman of the Antimatter Universe. As they enter the reality of Earth-6, Echo of Midnight dies and begins to crash. Desperate to save lives, Zillovala directs the heroes to make their way to the graveyard Earth of Universe 51. As Overman takes Zillovala to the infirmary and Captain Adam interfaces with the navigational computer, Superman, Ultraman and Captain Marvel struggle to prevent the monster from crashing. They discover that Earth 51 is not empty. It is the bizarre court of the forgotten heroes, led by Merryman, the king of the limbo. Nothing happens in the limbo, and if they remain here long enough, they will lose their memories and will be forgotten by their worlds. However, Superman feels an urge to explore and finds the library of the limbo, which contains one unreadable book with an infinite number of pages. Realizing that it should contain information on how to get them out of here, Superman and Captain Marvel try to move the book to the ship. Instead, it tells a story in their head. In the beginning, there was one monitor. This monitor discovered an incalculable entity called the multiverse. Investigating the multiverse, the monitor discovered that beings create meaning, conflicts, and events. Unprepared for this new concept, the monitor's prop split in two. One half became the orrery of worlds, while the other became a colossal representation of the greatest hero, a massive golden superman. The Monitor created a progeny around himself, the Monitors of the 52 Universes of the Multiverse. They made their home in a vast city around the Golden Statue, which began to rust. The legend said that the statue was a doomsday weapon intended to protect the Monitors from their ultimate enemy. It becomes attached to the story of Dax Novo the Radiant, the first son of the original Monitor, who first explored the multiverse, brought knowledge of the bleed, and eventually gave his life to contain the entity called Mandrak, who will one day rise against all of creation. On Earth-51, the end of the story strikes the two heroes, turning Captain Marvel back into Billy Batson. All Billy can access is a fragment of the Wisdom of Solomon, which tells him that the thing most despised will save the most beloved. As Superman enters Zillovala's chamber, he discovers that she has drained Overman's blood to save them all. However, this act was in vain, for Mandrak, the Dark Monitor, controlled Echo of Midnight and has greater weapons at his command. Looking outside, they see the arrival of a massive machine which shatters the sky of the limbo, 
with Ultraman who is holding the library and shouting that evil will ultimately win. Ultraman has been driven mad by Mandrax's corrupting force, starting a battle in the limbo. Billy Batson and Overman listen to monitor Zilla Vala about Mandrax's awakening. Overman wants to kill her, but Billy convinces him to spare her life and heed her warning. Impressed by Billy's wisdom, Zilla reminds him of the magic word he uses to turn to Captain Marvel, who returns just in time to prevent Ultraman from fighting Superman and annihilating each other. Captain Adam informs Superman of his new understanding of reality. Two creatures of different nature are symmetries. If they are combined, they can become a new creature, a robot powered by opposite senses. Superman agrees to test Captain Adam's theory in exchange for a drop of the bleed to save Lois' life. Captain Adam combines Ultraman, the hate crime, and Superman, the selfless act, and sends them to a higher realm of existence. Neil, the home of the monitors. Superman and Ultraman's combined form is an entity of pure thought, a powerful cosmic robot created by monitor Dax Nuvo against the incoming darkness. Because of his stronger will, Superman acquires absolute control over his merged form. Mandrak, the Dark Monitor, starts his rampage in Neil, and Superman flies to confront him. The battle is fierce, but Zilovala inspires Superman to never give up by reminding him of his story as the son of Krypton. Mandrak kills Zilovala, but realizes that she was his lover. Enraged, Superman attacks Mandrak and throws him into the endless abyss surrounding Neil, never to return. Superman then stumbles upon a massive tombstone and writes a few words on it. Seconds later, Superman and Ultraman are separated and return to the limbo, where Superman, Captain Marvel and Overman destroy Mandrak's army and save the limbo's inhabitants. Meanwhile, Ultraman is found by Rox Ogama, a monitor who was exiled for supporting Mandrak's actions. With his master defeated, Ogama has inherited his vampiric energies to become the new Mandrak and transforms Ultraman into his new vampire Superman. Meanwhile, Clark has returned to his world and time moves forward. The monitors believed themselves to be the only ones capable of containing the bleed, but they were wrong. Superman has contained the bleed within his own body and delivers it to Lois with a kiss. In a few minutes, Lois awakens and embraces Clark. She remembers Superman's adventure as a fantastic dream, which she intends to write about and share with the entire world. Clark leaves to keep fighting the good fight, but not before telling Lois that he cannot wait to hear her story. The words Superman wrote on the tombstone were, To be continued. That was the story of the most powerful Superman known as the Cosmic Armor Superman. He possesses godlike powers. He can feel and sense the audience reading the comic. His battle with Mandrak caused the collapse of an entire universe, and it seems that he possesses limitless power as the stronger his opponent becomes, the stronger this Superman becomes. The Cosmic Armor Superman is also able to perceive and hold the limbo in his hands. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.